Topics and Tea with Candace P in three, two, one. All right, y'all, so we have to talk about something. It looks like the Braxton sisters and Tracy Braxton's husband, Kevin, are not getting along at all. As we all know, Tracy Braxton sadly passed away two weeks ago after a year-long battle with cancer. Now, Kevin held a funeral service for Tracy Braxton just last week. However, the Braxton sisters and their mother, Evelyn, did not show up. According to Page Six, the Braxton sisters feel Tracy's husband and team are exploiting her death. The Braxton sisters just want their late sister Tracy to rest in peace, but her husband and manager are exploiting their sister in death, insiders claim. They went on to say that Tracy's husband Kevin and management have planned a funeral service viewing with Zoom links against her final wishes. Tracy did not want a funeral or wake. She did not want people looking all over her body. She specifically requested to be immediately cremated. There was a Zoom meeting that made it clear about what she wanted, and now her husband is trying to cash in on her name, a Braxton insider told Page Six. Tracy's husband, Kevin Surratt, held a viewing for her last week, and her famous sisters, Tamar, Trina, Tawanda, Tony, and their mother, Evelyn, opted out of attending. But their father, Michael Conrad Braxton, did show up. But we're we're told he was initially turned away at the door for not being on the list. He was so upset that he wasn't on the list. Someone from the church recognized him and let him in and he had to sit in the fourth row. They say that Tracy Braxton's father wasn't even allowed to speak or say any words about his daughter. Now Tracy Braxton's husband, Kevin, he claims that this is not true. He says that his father-in-law and brother-in-law came in briefly and he insists that he did invite the sisters, but they did not show up. This insider also says that Tracy's husband was planning her funeral months before she died. Tracy did not know about it, but he was talking to other people about it, allegedly. Now, Kevin claims that he honored his wife's wishes and that she explained everything to the funeral home before she passed. Now, Tracy's husband, Kevin, says that he knows his wife. He's the one that's always with her. He's the one that went to all of the doctor's appointments. He understands what his wife wanted. And he feels like the Braxton family is treating him like an illegitimate husband. The Braxtons are saying that Tracy said on a Zoom call that she did not want to have a funeral and that she wanted to be cremated. Now, Tracy Braxton's husband, Kevin, he's saying the complete opposite. He's saying that Tracy wanted a viewing and one memorial service in conjunction with her management, PR, and other members to come together and celebrate her. So then they went on to talk about Tracy Braxton's manager, Cliff Jones, who some sources say she relinquished managerial duties from before she passed. This source says that he is further disrespecting the family by holding an actual funeral service. They claim that he even reached out to gospel artists such as Kim Burrell and Byron Cage to have them perform at the service, but they pulled out when they realized the sisters were not involved. They also added that a barcode is required for entry. It's a whole production. They say that Tracy Braxton's body has since been cremated. They said nobody ever asked the family anything. No one called her mom, her father, her sisters to say, what do you guys think? of anything. The Braxton family is expecting to hold their own private memorial the way Tracy requested on April 2nd, which would have been Tracy's 51st birthday. Now, Toni Braxton recently had an interview on the Tamron Hall show. She talked about Tracy and she did mention that there is going to be a celebration of Tracy's life on her birthday. Tracy's husband confirmed it and he said he was not invited. Her and her son, they were so close. Her and her grandson and her, his, her son's wife, we were just a big family. We were all there. Her son was there, her husband was there. Everyone was there. Her best friends were there to Wanda Denise. Everyone was there with her. She had so much love. The hospice nurses were incredible. Um, you never think that it's gonna um, happen to you and your family. So you have to remind yourself to enjoy the moments. Be happy and it's okay if you fuss and fight, but just enjoy the moments and try to just smile and be happy, be kind to one another. Yeah. And um, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Today's okay. It's okay. It's not my best day, but it's an okay day, you know? And I'm happy that I'm here and I'm happy that I get to talk about it. And her birthday's coming up soon on the second. And my sisters and I, we're going to celebrate and have a big Tracy day thingy. All right. So you guys saw that. From the looks of it, it seems that Tracy Braxton's husband, Kevin, he did the funeral the way that he claims Tracy wanted, and the Braxtons are gonna have their own celebration that they claim Tracy wanted. Now again, Tracy's husband insists that none of this is true, 
that he did do things the way that Tracy Braxton wanted him to do it. Kevin also said that Tracy made their son the executor of her estate because she knew her family wouldn't come after him. They'd come after me. As for how Tracy would feel about her family fighting after her death, she wouldn't like it. She fought till the end. I'm just praying that it gets right. And that's what Tracy Braxton's husband had to say about that. Now, I don't know who's lying and who's telling the truth. If Tracy wanted a funeral or if she didn't want a funeral. I don't know. Maybe nobody's lying. Maybe Tracy changed her mind. Maybe she did want a funeral and then she didn't want a funeral. I don't know. But when it comes to marriage, when your spouse passes away, the surviving spouse has the final say. This situation happens all the time. As it's happened in my family, I'm sure it's happened in yours. There's always an uncle's wife or an auntie's husband that nobody gets along with. And after that auntie or uncle dies, you have to deal with that spouse when making the funeral arrangements. Now the Braxton source claims that there was a Zoom call where Tracy said exactly what she wanted. But I'm wondering if Tracy really wanted to be cremated instead of having a funeral, why wasn't this put in a final will and testament? Oh, this is so unfortunate. You have to have your final will and testament so that your family won't be arguing about what should happen. What you want to happen will be down on paper and nobody can argue against that. Well, hopefully they do get things resolved. Hopefully they can find peace in their life and just love and celebrate Tracy. No more arguing, no more fighting because there was more than enough of that while she was alive. She fought oh, until yeah. the end. Um, what was that? You said she's a bright light and I watched her on the show. What was that year like for her, Tony, and, and for the family? It was a tough year. She was optimistic. She was hopeful that she was going to get better. Actually, she had a, a lot more time than they initially said. Um, she had another six months mm -hmm. that she was with us. So we got to savor that moment with her and talk and laugh and giggle. And all my sisters and I, and my parents, we all rallied together, my brother. And we were, we were in the D.C. area. And we were just there all the time, all the time with her. Um, so we got to see her take her last breath. Yeah, and that part was kind of hard, you know. Um, we're so close. We're more than sisters. We're kind of like twins, I like to call it. You know, we're, we're bound together by more than just DNA, by blood. And it's just something special that my parents did such a fantastic job with raising all of us together, making us so close. And so to lose one, um, makes it a little more difficult sometimes. It's, I wake up every morning and I go, oh, did I dream it? Did I dream it? And I have to remind myself, no, she's gone, but she's been here with us for 50 years. So I try to relish in that moment and I try to smile about it and just be grateful for the time you have. And you have to always remember be, to be kind to one another. We're sisters, so we're always going to fight. That's what sisters do, okay? It's the right to pass, it's to fuss and fight, but in the end, we're always there. We could be fussing and fighting with each other, even on the show, and we'd be right there. Okay, I'm bringing the kids over and not talk to each other, but we'll be cooking together. So it's just our right to passage as a family. That's what you do, but in the end, we were always together. We always loved each other, and we're just very fortunate to have had my sister with us for as long as we had. Rest in peace to Tracy Braxton. I pray peace over her entire family. I pray that they work everything out and no weapon formed against them shall prosper. All right, you guys, make sure you comment your thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button and the notification bell, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.